Hi, I'm Scott. This is the Trader Genius Daily Stock Option Review for the 9th of March 2020. We're in the midst of the big decline. Things are not looking good for our heroes. And I'm going to show you a couple stocks where you could have made money even if they were losing value, even as they were losing value, because that's the beauty of stock options. You can buy a call when the stocks are going up. You can buy a put when they're going down and make money both ways. So we're going to show you uh, what's happening with Roku uh, right now. Not much has been going on, but it's uh, looks like it might be uh, heading up finally. It's out of the uh, out of the danger zone. So we're going to buy call and see what happens well we've made a little bit of money that's looking pretty good and uh, uh, that is going to be a short run I had a lot of um, volume still going up still going up still Maybe not so much. It's now broken through the previous low. And it's broken through another uh, little resistance line, 100. And made 50%. And I'm thinking, you know, that could just be enough. But we haven't really got anything saying, oop. All right. I am out of here. And uh, was I, did I get out too soon? Mm, yeah, no. It was a good thing I got out. All right, so that was Roku, and now we're going to take a look at BYND. And you can see when Roku had its little rise up, uh, the market went up. Good market so far. It's a weird, weak, bear trend. And uh, let's see if we've got any opportunities coming here. Not much going on. Not much going on. Trying to get back into no man's land. Skirting with it. But, hmm. Is it going up? Is it going up? All right, <clears throat> let's just jump in and see if we can get a little. I just want to get the cream off the top. And of course, because we're in such high volatile times, we're able to get things like 36% on Roku in uh, you know half an hour. Now, that is not what I would call average. <laughs> it's average when you've got massive swings going on like we have right now. But, uh, you know, six months ago, you'd be happy to get 10%. So we want to keep that in mind. We don't want to get spoiled. All right. And we are uh, moving up nicely. We're at 18, 15, 18, 21%. You know, this would be a good time to just get out. Get your 20% and you're done, right? Uh, if you put $1,000 into your trade, you'd make 20 $200, which is pretty nice. If you put 10 grand in, you'd make 2,000. So it's not bad for however long we've been in. But everything is pointing up. The basket is green. You know, we just broke through a resistance, benchmark resistance point, or we're at a benchmark resistance point. Do we want to go a little bit further? Is it going to go above it? Oh, this is where you don't want to get into the... Uh, Uh, come on baby come on baby you know you got 25% we don't know what's happening in the next minute we're out of here and what did happen uh, went up a little bit more it hit the previous low bounced off of it and is that the end of it did we get yeah so we got out before the top which was great we got in before we got in when the trend was established we got a you know so you get like Warren Buffett says the reason he made all his money is he got in too late and he got out too soon. And we don't want to pick the actual 
moment that we should have gotten in, which maybe was here, maybe, you know, was here. Actually, you could say it was here and you just went through there. Uh, but that's, you know, that's totally going against every rule we've got. And then it went up and then it's hit some resistance, hit uh, the previous low. Mm, it's going to bounce off of it. Maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't. But, you know, we got out with our 25%. And what's the next one we want to look at? Adobe. All right. It had a nice run up, run down, bounced back up. Who knows what it's going to do? And this is an afternoon trade, if we do one. We're in the afternoon. And uh, it doesn't look too promising kind of going down everything's going down uh, is it turning around who knows but you know this is all about guessing right right now it's all about guessing because we're in no man's land that's all it is we have no idea are we going to see a uh, gonna see anything happen here oh it's looking like it could be a good downward trend so by put and see where we go yep so we're riding this one down of course it's a weak whoa there's a volume spike we're at 15 percent we're at the 945 bottom are we gonna go through it mm. It's not looking like we are. It's not looking like we are. We've had two big spikes. We're at 15%. Let's just take our money and run. And did it turn around or did it go back down? Uh, back down a little bit. No, yes, no, yes. See, this is where you get nervous, right? Red candle, green candle, red candle, green candle, red candle, green candle. Mm, another volume spike down a little bit more up down so you could have made a little bit more and had a whole bunch more gray hair because it could just as easily have gone the other direction take your uh, take your money and enjoy the rest of the day now the beauty of this of course is we are out of the trades we've got uh, an hour or two before the the market closes we have our money after the market closes, you know, Mr. Trump could make an announcement or coronaviruses could crack up. Oil could go further down or further up. Who knows what could happen? Uh, you, everybody waits to give the news after the market goes. So uh, we got Adobe, 15.3%. BYND, 24.9%. Roku, 36.7%. So... A little more than 10% in a little more than 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> but this is what you can do. If you're in the game and you're playing and you're swinging and at the baseball, you you know you can hit some base hits and some home runs. But if you're not in the game, you can't. And you, you need to learn the game. And you need to think about it as a game. Most of us that have been around for have, you know more than three or four years looking at the markets and then watching it intently know that it's totally rigged. But if it's totally rigged, it still has to go either up or down. So if you can figure out which way they want it to go and you just get a little cream off the top, you're going to be doing good. But if you want to short circuit your training, you need good coaches. We have that. You need good training. We have that. You need an amazing pro a program. We have that. The software is part of our membership. And uh, yeah, so and you need perseverance and you need a willingness to learn and to practice. <coughs> Pardon me. So take the courses, get a 30-day free trial, work with our coaches, and uh, you'll be in a position to take advantage of whatever is happening in the markets then without having to worry about losing tens of thousands of dollars when the thing collapses, which it does, uh, it seems like, every decade or so. All right, so this is the day trading uh, Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for March 9th, 2020. I'm Scott. Look forward to seeing you next time. Make sure you 
subscribe and like hit the bell so that you know whenever we're posting these and uh, you're gonna see over time and our goal I say it over and over again is just to show you that there's opportunity every day pretty much I mean there's like one or two days a year where this is there's no opportunity and you're better off going to the beach uh, or sit in the backyard <laughs> if the beaches are closed uh, where you can make money and so you just need to know how you can turn this into your own personal ATM without uh, without risking a lot of money so thanks for joining us like and subscribe share tell all of your friends and we'll see you in the next one bye bye